back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Christy. I currently follow the WW Blue program, but I do provide the points for all three programs on my channel. And I would love it if you would consider subscribing. So make sure to hit the subscribe button. Also click the notification bell. That's what notifies you anytime I upload new content. So I did not actually plan on doing this video. By now, some of you should have seen a grocery haul video that I did. And normally on my grocery haul videos, I actually give a meal plan as well. But this time I didn't because it's Father's Day weekend, so I didn't really know what I was doing. So it is now Sunday. We actually ended up spending the day with my daughter. If I remember, I will put some pictures in there for you. Our son was on duty. He's a deputy sheriff, so we didn't get to spend time with him. So we're going to celebrate Father's Day with him next weekend. But we decided to take an hour drive and go see my daughter. So we're now back and we're spending some time in the pool together, but I decided to throw together a meal plan. So I'm doing a meal plan and then I'm going to do a very mini meal prep tonight. When you don't have time, you can definitely still meal prep. You can throw things together. So this is what I have planned for the week. And sorry, I know I got some scratches on here because I changed my mind. I try and do these in pencils and I just threw, to get, threw it together with a pen today. So snacks this week, I am just doing my normal fruit for zero, sugar-free pudding for two, and popcorn for three. The sugar-free pudding I've been actually mixing with Cool Whip, which gives it an extra point. It's really good. It's kind of, it's kind of like a mousse. And then popcorn for three. For breakfast prep this week, I'm just going to throw together some birthday cake overnight oats. Those are so quick to throw together, so I thought that would be perfect. So those are five points on blue and green and one point on purple. That's going to be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday, I'm going to just throw together eggs, chicken sausage, and canned potatoes. I'm actually working from home Thursday. And then Friday, I will just do my cereal. And I didn't even put my points. The chicken sausage is one point. Eggs are zero on blue and purple. Two points each on green. And the canned potatoes that I usually use are about two points. And my cereal, my cereal usually comes out to like three. I use fiber one cereal. I actually have been having some Cheerios lately. I try to keep Cheerios in the house for my grandson when he comes to visit. But I think I'll do my fiber one and maybe cut up a banana or something in it. For lunch prep this week, I'm just gonna be doing the turkey breast tenderloin that I get from Aldi, and I'm gonna pair that with rice and corn. So the turkey breast is zero, the rice is three, and the corn is zero. The corn is actually corn on the cob. I'm making extra for dinner and I'm gonna throw that with it, and I'm actually doing it in the Instant Pot. So that's gonna be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I think what I'll probably do Thursday is we'll probably do breakfast late. Like I'll probably take a break between 10 and 11 and make breakfast. So then for lunch, we'll kind of do like a lunch and dinner combined. And then late Thursday night, we'll just have a snack. So I think what I'll do, I was going to do a turkey and cheese wrap for lunch, but since I'm kind of doing it as a lunch slash dinner, I'll go ahead and make turkey and cheese subs. So it'll be a little bit more points and that'll just, the points on that will depend on what I use. I think the sub buns that I use are like five points and then I'll count everything that I put on it. And Friday, basic, I'm going to just do grilled cheese and soup. So I'm estimating about six points for lunch on Friday. For dinners this week, of course, Mondays are always salmon night and I'm doing salmon with rice and Brussels sprouts. And since I'm not making my dinner meal kits this week, I'm just going to have plain salmon, maybe put some bay seasoning on it, and haven't decided how I'm going to cook it. I might just pan sear it in a pan. Going to do that with the ready rice, 90 second ready rice for three points, and Brussels sprouts for zero. Tuesday night, I'm going to do slow cooker apple pork chops with potatoes and carrots. I'm not sure about that one. I have that, that one, it is six points on blue and green and four points on purple. I've actually never made that one and I don't quite have, I'm kind of piecing together different recipes of it, so I'm not really sure whether I'll have a recipe listed down below or not. And then Wednesday, I think I'm just gonna throw together some chicken quesadillas, just basic chicken and um, cheese. And I use the one point Olay Extreme Wellness Wraps and I just estimate that to be six points. Thursday night, like I said, it'll be lunch and dinner combined. And then Friday, I'm just going to plan on plain old-fashioned spaghetti. I'm just going to cook up some turkey breast, uh, ground turkey breast, mix it in with some prego sauce, and just make spaghetti. Not sure how many points that'll be because it'll depend on how much I have of it. 
So that is my quick thrown together meal plan for this week. I know this is uh, a little bit different than I normally do, but I did want to still put something together and plan it last minute. And uh, I'll do a mini prep tonight and show you that as well. Okay, everyone, it is now 9.44 on Sunday night. This is the birthday cake overnight oats, and I'll link the recipe down in the description box. And for lunch prep, we actually had corn on the cob for dinner, and I actually did it in the Instant Pot this time, and it was perfect. So if you have an Instant Pot, do the corn on the cob that way. I just put it in the trivet down in there. I put two cups of water. I have an eight quart. I put two cups of water, and then just piled the corn on the cob on top and did it for two minutes. Uh, two minutes on high pressure and then a quick release and it was so good and I'm just using the turkey that I get from Aldi I've shown that before it's basically just a turkey turkey breast portion that I get from Aldi I have some rice that I made in the instant pot so that is going to be my lunch so for this recipe like I said it's the birthday cake overnight oats these are five points for blue and green and one point for purple we're going to do a half a cup of oats, a half a cup of unsweetened almond milk. I'm actually using the vanilla flavor, which you don't have to use that flavor. That's up to you. Next, I need one teaspoon of brown sugar sweetener. I'm using the Lacanto. You can use Swerve or any other kind of artificial sweetener. So one teaspoon. I'm also going to use a half a teaspoon, half a tablespoon of chia seeds. And then we need one teaspoon of cake batter extract and I have this in the Amazon links. I'll link this down in the description box. But this I actually purchased from Publix. I got this one at Publix. So one teaspoon of that. Last thing we want is a tablespoon of sugar free uh, syrup. So this time I'm using the log cabin. So we're going to do a tablespoon of that. And then carefully lift that out of there because that is going to be full. And then just take a knife and mix that all up. And it smells just like cake. Alright, after that is mixed all up. Then we're going to add a half a tablespoon of sprinkles. Just add those right to the top. And that, my friends, is it. That's all there is to it. Let me show you what I'm going to do with my lunches now. What I'm going to do now is just put about a half a cup of rice in the bottom of each dish. And like I said, my corn I had already cooked for dinner. So the only point that this is going to have is just for the rice, for blue and purple. And then if you're on green, you'll have to count your corn and also for your meat, whatever you're using for meat. If you are on purple, you could actually make this a zero point lunch by using brown rice. And the next thing I'm going to do is just put this turkey. This is actually already cooked turkey and I actually had some chicken left over that I had in my freezer so I just pulled some of that out so two of these will actually be chicken and the rest will be turkey so just a super quick and easy meal prep since I wasn't planning on meal prepping this just shows you that if you don't have time you can just easily throw something together so as you can see I'm not weighing this out because we are on blue and I'm actually going to put a little bit extra in my husband's. But if you're on green, definitely make sure to weigh it out. So that is it. So it is now 9.56 and it took me 10 minutes. What I'll do is I'm going to continue on making the rest of the overnight oats. And then I will show you what time it is. So you'll see that how quickly I actually did meal prep this week. So as you can see it is done and it is 10.07 so less than 30 minutes and I did this prep. 
So the rice I did in the Instant Pot, the turkey, like I said, it was already cooked. It's You buy it that way. The chicken was left over that I had. So that didn't take time at all. And then you saw my overnight oats. And we decided to do four days worth of the overnight oats. On my meal plan, I only did three. But these hold good for the full four days. And my husband absolutely loves these overnight oats. So now what I'll do is I will put the tops on these. And I will put these in my fridge overnight. And then we just eat them cold the next day. So you don't have to heat them or anything like that. So I will talk to you all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new, I hope you'll hit that subscribe button. I'm Christy, and I'm planning us healthy.